Welcome back guys, this is your host Mr. Wealth Answer. On this channel I like to talk everything real estate, finance, mortgages, and investment related. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Novatech. Are they becoming a fraud? Are they real? What's the real deal? What's going on with Novatech? What's happening? <laughs> well, I'm gonna be discussing all that in this video and I'm also gonna let you know if you're thinking of joining Novatech, I don't think you should. And I'll give you my reasons why. And it's not probably what you're thinking. It's going to be very interesting, so stay tuned. So before we begin, I just want to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. Everything that I will present in this video is not financial advice. It's just for informational purposes only. I'm just sharing my journey with you guys and just letting you guys know my current process and my thoughts. Just want to share some insight with you and some things that I've come to discover in the space. If you have been following my journey with Novatech, I started a year and a bit ago and in that time i actually invested in other projects and i lost a lot of money investing in other crazy schemes i've lost a taste for those things and my desire right now is to just find legitimate things that create legitimate and sustainable returns over time not to say that things can't you can't make money right away or there's not opportunity that will create a lot of money even over tech you're not becoming rich overnight unless you have a lot of money but with that said if, if you have a lot of money investing over tech getting a lot of money to me that it's nothing because you can invest in other things and make a lot of money but if you're investing a hundred dollars two hundred dollars a thousand dollars it's going to take time to build into anything substantial just like anything else it's not a cat rich quick scheme and i've learned any haste to wealth or making money leads to a haste in losing money so you just got to be patient and you have to use discernment and not allow your greed and money to kind of wrap you up and tie you up okay so here's my experience right now with Novatech. i've been withdrawing my money for the last six months and it's actually been helping me to pay expenses because right now real estate is a bit slower. Mortgage files are coming in, but they're very difficult to do. It's just a very difficult time in the market. Even when you get the client to even get the deal done is a lot of work involved. There's a lot of work to get the business and there's even more work to get the business done. So that's the market we're in and Novatech has helped give me kind of a, like a little cushion for money to pay expenses and travel and gas money and stuff like that. And I leave a little bit of the money to grow. So up to date, I've actually made $35,630 US dollars in total earnings with Novatech, which equates to approximately $47,815 Canadian. And if I break it down even further into commissions and trading earnings, I've made up till now $5,420 in commission earnings and $30,210 in trading earnings. Now, if I break it into Canadian dollars, that will equate to, in today's currency, $7,273 and $40,542 Canadian. Mm, not bad for approximately 14 months of trading and just passive income. It's actually pretty good. Now, I've taken out a lot of my capital out of Novatech. Not because I don't trust the system. I wish I could have kept more in. By now, I probably would have almost over 100,000, if not more, if I had made better decisions. And I would have probably withdrew or made a lot more money. But I can't look back on all the mistakes I've made. I can just move forward and make sure I make better decisions in the future. Okay, so that's my current update with Novotin. So right now, my training account, it's like $5,500. I get around anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars in bonus money depending on how Novatech trades and i get approximately 70 to 80 dollars in commissions each week and i have been redrawing it to be honest it's slow for me so i've been using that to just cover small expenses here and there as business picks up and as more money comes in from other endeavors that i'm doing but i plan to spruce up my account and add a little bit more money into Novatech and use it as an income buffer. Now I'm not relying on it to pay my expenses, so as the money comes in, I'm either using it to pay expenses or I am diversifying. Everybody's strategy is different, but for me, that's my current strategy. Later on, I probably may put money in there and I'll just leave it in for three, five years, keep my fingers crossed that Canada doesn't ban us and Novatech doesn't lose our money. 
that's the risk that I'm willing to take, but I'm only going to invest what I'm willing to lose. With that said, guys, that's my results. I'm going to leave that now. Now, in the next part of the video, I'm going to share with you a concern everybody has is with withdrawals. Withdrawals are taking a little longer than usual. And for me, I am not too worried about actually i'm not worried about it i just wish there's better communication i do look in the novatech main chat and i don't really see much mentioning about it maybe i have to scroll up and look more i haven't seen anything regarding payouts delays and anything of that sort in the back end when i log in they don't talk about it so for me it's kind of like it's fine because at the end of the day the policy says everything's subject to change but at least letting your members know will help because some people you do calculate, hey, based on your policies, it's 24, first was 24 hours, then move 24 to 48 hours. If it's more, let us know. So we plan ahead and say, okay, if I'm going to take money out of my trading account or bonus account, I'm going to need it for X, Y, and Z so I can make proper plans and preparations. But without giving us a date and it's just like in limbo, it's just hard to prep and plan. And that's kind of the only one of the major things that I'm really annoyed about. But at the end of the day, it's part of being a part of Novatech. I made a decision to invest and if that's what's happening, it's on me. It's not on anybody else, but it's just my opinion that Novatech should at least let their members know of delays. Novatech has been paying people out. In other words, some countries have told Novatech to cease and resist. Such countries such as Los Angeles, California, some provinces in Canada, and some other countries around the world have told Novatech don't allow our members to invest. So there's so many things that one would have to consider. And I know Novatech has registered in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. However, to invest in a lot of parts of the world, especially in certain countries that want to protect its citizens, you have to get registered. <laughs> and if they don't do that, we're not going to be able to invest. Even if Novatech is legitimate, even if they're trading well, even if they're making money, even if everything is fine, if they're not registered and doing certain things by the local uh, jurisdiction, it's going to be hard. And that's why Novatech puts in there whatever the governments uh, come to them and say stuff like that, such as cease and resist and don't allow members to invest, they'll have to obey by that rule, by that law, and they have to give members their money back, right? Guys, the greatest risk in Novatech for me is not their ability to trade because as a trader, now I'm learning to trade and I can show you a lot of traders that I'm reading about that have made millions of dollars in a couple of years trading with a $500 or a $1,000 account or taking 10,000 and turning it into a million dollars. How did they do that? Well, they just compound their earnings and they never took it out and they just increased their lot sizes. And if they were certain of certain moves, they would maybe make a little bit more money and they minimize the risk. They had a solid trading strategy and they were very disciplined in performing it out. And they were able to make a lot of money. And then I seen some people make a lot of money simply by trading other people's money. So they master the craft and they're able to take, uh, maybe do fun challenges and invest with $600,000 accounts, grow it to a million and take half the profits or 80% of the profits or whatever the deal split is with those type of prop firm. There's so many ways people are making money, especially with trading. And a lot of people are making more than 12 to 15% a, like a month. And a lot of people make more than 150 to 160 percent return on their money for the year my friend for example he trades and he's been able in 10 months to as tangible results that you can verify he's been able to turn a hundred thousand to four hundred thousand and make about 356 percent return in 10 months he averages between 20 to 23 percent a month on his trades the reason i want to bring Novatech is because i know some people want to invest in Novatech. i'm going to be real with you it's a risk. It's a risk because if you invest, you have to understand that tomorrow your country can kick you out out of Novatech from investing. Tomorrow, Novatech can also lose their money, <laughs> right? And I don't believe they're a fraud because if they're a fraud, they would not exist this long. I just believe that there's so many things. The stacks are stacked against them. My point of view is don't invest in Novatech if you can't stomach for it. If you don't have a risk capital, if you're not willing to lose your money, don't invest i don't even put my affiliate link or anything like of that sort in these videos i just really want to help y'all just to understand novatech and give you guys information and let you know about my journey right now do i wish novatech to continue oh yeah do i believe in them i do are they a scam no they're not a scam right i've seen many scams and they're not a scam but the problem is their model and how they're doing their things just leaves a very shaky foundation 
for regulators, countries, governments to kind of shut residents down from investing. And that's the only thing to me that's a risk. And if they are going to continue doing what they're doing, it's hard for me to build a company or think longevity with that company when they don't have that aspect down packed. So I do got to consider that maybe tomorrow I won't be able to invest in Novatech. If that happens, take my money out and then I have to figure out something else. So you guys don't rely on Novatech for your wealth, to be honest. Don't rely it as the vehicle to 100% get you where you want to be. Unless Novatech can answer to the registration and licensing laws of each country in the world, it's going to be hard. I mean, it's going to be hard. What I wish they had done is stay under the radar, not become too big, not take so much people into the, 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 the program. And I think they would have been fine. I just wish they had one simple, maybe one or two level referral. The referral program is great, but I just wish that they just kept it very simple. If they kept it simple and they were trading really well and they continue to trade the way they're trading and members tell members, but they don't make it more like an MLM thing, I think that a lot of countries would be able to still participate because it's under the radar and we don't have huge incentives to build teams and downlines and stuff. And then when you put and attach that to it, it just makes it mushy, in my opinion. Like, you know, nothing's wrong with referral fee. A lot of companies have affiliate uh, earnings and referral fees, but to make it an MLM in a platform where you're taking members' money and there's a lot of regulations and a lot of scrutiny and just a lot of skepticism and fraud and so many things, and especially dealing with crypto, it's just a lot going on. <laughs> By the end of the day, I do respect what they, they have done. I love what they have done and I pray for them. That's the only thing we can ask. I know this video is long, but I just really wanted to do this vlog, share with you guys my results, and uh, we wish Novatech the best. All right? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. I'll see you guys in the next video.